Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick first impressions review of the new Flex Foundation from Milk Makeup. I've been trying this one out and I also purchased the new Flex Highlight, so I will be doing like a mini review of this as well in today's video. I have a ton of reviews on Milk Makeup products, so I will leave all of them linked down below in case you guys are interested in the other ones I've done, but I really, really love Milk Makeup. I was super excited to see that this launched. This seemed like a much better option for my personal dry skin. So I do hope that you guys enjoy today's video. And if you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way I know. And of course, I hope you'll subscribe. Let's jump right in. So the Flex Foundation retails for $36 and you get 0.35 ounces in here. So anytime you purchase a stick foundation, the bang for your buck isn't going to be as great. So something to keep in mind, that's about how much you get. That's, that's really it. If you're truly looking to splurge on an item, sometimes it's better to go with a liquid just because the price per ounce is better. One thing that it makes up for is this is super convenient. It's so convenient to just use a stick foundation to swipe all over the face and blend into the skin. So what you end up paying for is the convenience. This comes in 36 shades, which is awesome. And the packaging, as you've seen, it's really nice. It feels heavy enough. It's not cheap plastic. It actually kind of feels like metal and it has a magnetized closure, which is, I, I thought it did, there it is, which is always satisfying and nice. Again, when you're paying a little bit more money for a foundation, these things are nice. They're not crucial, but, but it is always welcome. Let's talk about this product, what the claims are here. So they say that this is a medium coverage foundation with a natural finish. So this product is going to pretty much work for everyone. Formulated it with a lot of ingredients to help make it flexible. They added marshmallow extract. Again, some of these ingredients, Milk Makeup kind of does this a lot. Some of them do feel not gimmicky, but you know, trendy. As for my personal take on the level of coverage as well as the texture of this foundation, I do find that it is a natural finish. Despite the highlight that I'm also wearing, I feel like this is a very, very natural finish. It's not too dewy. Personally, I feel like this coverage is a little bit more on the light side of the medium. I definitely think you can get it to a full medium coverage, like a solid medium, but for me, it's leaning a little bit more towards light medium. Now, as for the way that this applies to the skin, it's very, very blendable. We'll jump into the demo so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. When you put the stick directly onto the skin, it has a really nice glide to it, but it doesn't feel greasy and it doesn't feel stiff, which is really nice. It blends very, very easily. And that's something I love in a product. I love when a product is super easy to apply and really likes to blend into the skin seamlessly. This is definitely one of those products. It almost, to me, ends up looking like a nice tinted moisturizer once it's actually on the skin. There's nothing to me about this product that feels unnatural. Some stick foundations can tend to look heavy and this is definitely not one of those. Really easy to just build up coverage, add coverage where you want it, shear out the product. I tend to use a sponge as you saw in the demo, but as a whole, application wise, I could not be happier with the way it applies. I feel like it's very easy, very quick. And again, with the stick foundation, for the convenience factor, I personally feel like that is a box that you need to check. Again, if this is going to be super convenient and easy to use on the go, then it better be easy to blend onto the skin. So as a whole, I feel like the finish of the foundation is beautiful. It's a very nice, natural finish. It's not heavy on the skin and it ends up looking like just a tinted moisturizer. There's nothing about this that feels like a heavy stick foundation and out of all of the stick foundations that I have tried, I think this is now my new favorite. I think if you love stick foundations, I think this is absolutely one to check out. Looks very natural and very pretty. So easy and so pretty. These are things that I always look for and products that I go back to over and over again. So big thumbs up on that and the way it looks. As for the longevity, this is a clip of me wearing the foundation for about six hours. I did wipe a lot of the foundation off my nose because I was blowing my nose a lot. But as for the other areas, I don't feel like this is a super long wearing product. It's just my personal experience with using it. It fades evenly in a way 
way that I need my makeup to fade. Like if it's going to wear very awkwardly, again, I would rather just wear some sunscreen and be out the door. This to me wears like a very typical tinted moisturizer. You're going to get a nice six hours of wear out of this one, but I don't think that it is super long wearing. That being said, I love that this foundation does not exaggerate any of the dryness on my skin, any of the pores. It looks very smooth, it looks healthy. So with all of this being said, I do think that if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer to use on the go, but you want something more travel friendly, you don't want to have to pump out foundation and use a sponge, I think this is a really good option. Now, I personally think that there are more affordable options for the finish. Um, this reminds me a lot of, of a less dewy version of something like the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. That's going to be a better deal because you get more product. It's a give and take. I think that this is a really pretty product. Now let's quickly talk about Flex Highlight. I have to be honest, I haven't been wearing a lot of highlight recently and it's not exactly purposeful but I do feel like I was getting to a point where I would add highlight and I just felt like it wasn't doing anything else for my skin and I'm talking more about powder highlights. I wanted to give this one a try because I haven't tried any of Milk Makeup's powder products except for their loose powder. I wanted to give this one a go and see how well they formulated it because this is supposed to be a very flexible powder that is going to blend into your skin very seamlessly, but also give you a glow. So it retails for $26, I believe. You get 0.22 ounces and they have four shades. So I have the shade Lit in specific. This is a really pretty champagne gold. And I applied it today just with a sponge, very lightly just dabbed it into my skin. And I love the way that it looks. I, I really do. I think using the sponge to make it blend into the rest of the foundation was a really, really good idea and it was able to kind of melt into my skin in a way that I really, really like. As for the way that this wore, I think around this six hour mark, I could definitely still see some pigment and shine. If you're looking for a powder highlight that you could build up, but also sheer out. I think this is a very versatile product. Now I'm a little bit more of a fan of cream highlights, but I do think that this is a really good option for if you were just to have one highlight and you want one, again, that you can make very glimmery and nice for nighttime, but also one that you could really dab into the skin with a sponge and make it look more skin-like. That's something that I really appreciate and enjoy about makeup products when they can be a little bit more versatile, that it ends up justifying a higher price tag for me personally. Not that this is very expensive, but again, it's not drugstore. So again, I really like the highlight as well. I'm pleased with both of these products actually. So I hope today's video was helpful for you guys and if it was definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It always helps me out and of course I hope you'll subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next one.